<laughs> Atlanta. There's actually a lot of people here. Super excited. Next stop, Shaq's house. All right, we are going. We are almost there. Woohoo! What a journey. Okay, there's the entrance way down there. Long driveway, perfect uh, place for a fountainscape up there. Beautiful home, but what's really nice is Pete's Treehouse Master built this treehouse here, and I thought, wouldn't it be awesome to have a fire pit out here with uh, you know natural stone, a reflecting pond right in this area. So we've got it kind of designed. You can kind of see the reflecting pond right out here, overlooking that beautiful treehouse that uh, Pete did and then a waterfall and stream that come right through here. Have a little bridge right over this area right here, and then a waterfall that starts up there with a biofall. So it just comes right down this slope, and uh, Shaquille O'Neal would officially be aquascaped. So I love the design process. I'm actually not the best at it, and I told him that. I thought, you know, there's some great ideas to start with, but I need to really get Ed and Brian down here to finalize things. And the cool thing about decorative water features are, we just ship things in bulk, and if we change things a couple feet this way or a couple feet that way the day we do it, it's no big deal. It's just the basic concept. I think I came up with a pretty good concept. I think my guys would approve but uh like i said we're just going to ship everything in bulk and when we come back here with some certified aquascape contractors maybe even some artists of the year to uh, get check aquascaped it's going to definitely be on and things might change but that's exactly why we do what we do it's so creative it's artwork it always is changing this is why i love my job because of the creativity that it involves and because it's just fun this is fun these are great guys they just want to make shaquille o'neal happy i just want to make Shaq happy and you know what how can i not love my job when i get to work with people like this Nick, explain to our viewers what we're doing here at uh, 11 o'clock at night at Aqualand. We're about to take a little road trip. We are heading to Atlanta, Georgia uh, for a very exciting build. Probably one of the top builds I think I've been a, a part of here. So we are heading to Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> Chuck's loaded up. We're choosing to drive. I think Greg thought that was crazy at first, yep. but how would all of this get there okay. if we took a plane? Not happening. Can't happen. I think that was uh, pretty climactic. And uh, <laughs> we could go. I've decided to take first shift, hop in this truck. They say it's like a 12 hour drive. I think we can do it uh, easily in 14. So <laughs> we'll see how it goes. And uh, looking forward to getting down there. We should get down there right around lunchtime. And um, uh, we'll check in as uh, we continue our little journey here. All right, here we go. So we've had three drivers. I was first. Nick took over after uh, I hit the, the what do you call it? The rubble times. strips a yeah. couple times. <laughs> Chris finished off. We just grabbed something to eat. And I'm not going. Chris is still going. Oh, yeah. It's I'm the kind, old guy, though. Kind of the last. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. Take it easy. Just finished your oatmeal. Metamucil. Old timers breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> so we're actually making good time. I would say I'm definitely second guessing why we left at uh, 11. And I know that was 100% my choice. So I'll take that. <laughs> it, uh, feels a little weird not to have any sleep and get here super early. <laughs> Can't get into the house. Can't get into the house. We have nothing to do. <laughs> we should go to the grocery store, I guess. Yeah, we go to the grocery store. Where would we put our groceries? <laughs> we could probably get rid of this box. That, this, that box has nothing to do with anything. Yeah, get rid of that. Yeah, probably get something underneath that wheelbarrow there. So what do we got? Four more hours? Three and a half hours. All right. We're off. We're off. All right, it sounds very quiet in here because the engine is off. We are coasting. <laughs> There's the gas station. We need fuel. <laughs> oh, don't miss the diesel pump. Don't, don't miss the diesel, diesel pump. It's right here on the corner. Okay. <laughs> this is this is good stuff. Unbelievable. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> good thing I killed it when oh, I did. That is Look awesome. Like a quarter mile ago. Holy crap. <laughs> quarter mile. You coasted up to on-ramp, uh, exit ramp. Lucky we had a little oh bit God. of, oh, that's awesome. What's happening, Brian? I don't know if you call it a success, but 
You've all heard what happened. It was a miracle. What should we call it? We should call it the gas station miracle? We should call uh, it the- Pretty much. Yeah, gas station uh, miracle. It's a miracle. Chris ran out of gas about a quarter mile diesel. back. Diesel. Yep. Diesel. That's not just gas, diesel. To find a diesel gas station is not the easiest thing. In fact, our first stop, we went to two before we found the third one. Anyways, he ran out and was able to coast in on fumes. The power <laughs> of the truck was off, right? They're not even fumes, just coast on in. Not a line or anything even at the thing. But now, we can't start the engine. So I don't know if it was really a success. It's a success. It is? It's for still sure. a success? We could have been stuck on the highway Next. somewhere. Show off. <laughs> yeah. Nice. That's a I success like right me, there. Not, oh all, my Nick. God. Thank all right, God. Nick. Nick. We made it. We made it. We made it. Always eventful, always memories. Miracle. Yep. Two of them. Two of them. So this is our Airbnb. We're going to see if we can't dig up this Japanese maple and bring it to the job. <laughs> uh, nope. This is probably not the house. This is probably like the Davidson's house and we're supposed to be at the Anderson's and the Davidson's are watching us over there on their, cam <laughs> their camera. <laughs> okay, stay tuned. We'll see if we get internet. No. 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 <laughs> Nick, to save the day again. <laughs> wow. I think uh, Eric from uh, North Carolina is Six. Yeah. All right, we are in just outside of Atlanta, Georgia. Greg, what do we got going on? And we're not running out of gas. <laughs> Diesel. <laughs> Building a pod, we're designing a pod, so we're coming here to uh, look at it early for Shaquille O'Neal, the big man himself. Diesel, Shaq Fu, the big Aristotle, and we have all the artists of the year. So we got John Adams behind us, who drove all the way down from Tennessee. There is, you can see his tree. Oh, nice. I like that. That is awesome. <laughs> his oh, backboard cool. tree right cool. in the front. <laughs> and there's a Superman logo right there. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Yeah. That's a nice little setup. Easy access. So this is all his compound. That's awesome. That's what you need, Nick, right there. And... This is, this is gonna be easier than I thought. Look at the access. I think we should probably pick up some uh, plywood mm -hmm. to protect what looks to be a pretty new driver. Brand right? new. Greg, what are you thinking? Well, it's not what I'm thinking. It's what the artists of the year are thinking. <laughs> so are you ready for this? Put the waterfall starting over here and yes. running down to here. Yeah. You got it. Yeah, I, I actually... That, that, that. We've been here for exactly five minutes and my I, my original idea has been overruled. And I'm perfectly fine with that because hey, I hey. actually agree with it. We kind of knew that. So you <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to ruin your bridge. Yeah. The bridge is still going to happen. Look at the drop Remember. right here from here down to that area. Like this is yeah. a significant waterfall. Yeah. We got two feet. Now the bridge from inside <laughs> that room yeah. is insane. Much better. This Kill is why I own the company train. and I employ <laughs> the smart people. <laughs> <laughs> we are ready for construction. Construction. Everything's happening, all the equipment showing up. And there's Eric. Oh, Eric from Cats. Now I know. <laughs> <laughs> He's a man of the hour. He's got all this stuff lined up for us. Birdie. Hi, guy, we are underway. Why don't you tell people what you're doing right now? Well, I'm doing a, a Dunkin' Donuts run and picking up all the materials that got shipped from Aquascape and landed there on uh, last Friday, so I'm going to pick it up. So you have the most essential job because we well, can't hey, move forward after You can't do it without it, plus the Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> okay, so this is a first for me. I'm actually picking up the products I shipped to myself. So XPO Logistics, about half an hour from the job site, picking up all the liner, pipes, the filters, the pumps, and everything else that we need for this project. Hopefully we have enough. You know where this stuff is going, boss? Where is it going? Shaquille O'Neal's house. Yeah? Yeah? Perfect. Thanks, brother. That is the end of episode one. We're gonna have multiple episodes of this build. Uh, they are well underway on the other side of this 
big man truck over here. Um, we're gonna be showcasing this in the next couple of Team Aquascape videos, and we're also gonna put a link to all of the certified Aquascape contractors who are also showing it on their channels, so you can check out links on their channels as well. And then of course, we're gonna do the big reveal on living the Aquascape lifestyle, the Greg Whitstock Pond Guy channel. This has been an absolute blast working with this guy. This team has really come together. We've overcome a lot of things already, but stay tuned because you're gonna have a lot of fun over the next couple videos. I love my job.